I'm super stoked because I'm on the ice today for the first time in two months. I'm just packing up all the gear back here. Pretty much everything is the same as it was for uh, in the back video with two little changes. And the first one is I'll be in these power pads. These are from last season. Those are the ones from this season. Specs are pretty much the same. I just like the old Supreme graphic a little bit better. So I'm rocking these. And here I'll be using the connect skates and my old pros choice mask from Toronto. Uh, I was actually trying this on. It fits wider than I remember on the jaw, so it is a pretty good fit. I'll be giving that a shot on the ice today. But yeah, like I said, first time on the ice in two months. Uh, very excited, a little nervous. This video is sponsored and made possible by Mentech and their XE1 Outdoor Watch. The XE1 watch is perfect for all things outdoors with over 110 sports modes. The watch monitors multiple health factors like blood oxygen, heart rate, sleep, body state and stress levels. No matter where you take it outdoors, the watch will keep up with you. It is capable of measuring various types of data that would be helpful for climbers, such as the distance and speed traveled in three dimensions, meaning not just the straight line distance, but also the elevation changes, the slope or incline of the terrain, and the amount of vertical ascent or climbing done. And my favorite features are how easy it is to use, it is lightweight and comfortable, and the long battery life and fast charging. Fully charge in 70 minutes and enjoy up to 14 days in classic mode or 24 hours in GPS mode. It also has comprehensive weather data, Get accurate weather forecasts, including extreme weather alerts, so you know what you're up against when you head out the door. Make sure to check out the Mentec XE1 Outdoor Watch, the perfect companion for all things outdoors. All right, so we got a special guest back on the videos. You don't see her too much nope. on these, but uh, we tossed up a Q&A on our Instagram. We got a bunch of questions about where will I be playing next season? And I don't know yet when I, we know, I know, we know, you guys will know as soon as 
we are able to send it out. I am also working right now because I have to put hair extensions on. That don't match my hair, but... All right, question play. number one. Your best memory of Sweden. Probably going to Fika. Probably mine too. Obviously hockey, playing games. What games? But yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Will you be in Bauer gear? I think so. Um, I've been in like the same set I've had for like four years now i have no reason to switch do you hope to be in the nhl or i can't read what that's europe oh europe <laughs> <laughs> uh obviously nhl is always the goal um i think that's kind of where i hey 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 you're doing it wrong remember you gotta use this and then it brings up my hair with it because right hey yeah well, i feel like for my career to play in north america is probably the Probably the right move. Who's going to win the cup? Ooh, so at the time we're filming, Florida just went to the finals. Uh, and Vegas and Dallas are still fighting for it. Yeah, I like Vegas out of the three teams that are left. Uh, but if Bobrovsky keeps playing like he's playing, it's all bets are off. How much do you train in the off season? These are all just scribbles. Yeah, uh, right now, um, we work out Monday through Friday, and then I start to skate maybe two times a week, probably what it averages out. So. Wait, where did you just, did you put another one on? No. If Chicago Wolves goes independent, didn't they already at this point in time? I, th I think so. Would you play there even if no NHL call up? Yeah, I mean, I played in uh, Chicago, what is it, five years ago now? Five years ago now? Yep. Had a good season, uh, like the organization. Uh, it's a tricky question with uh, no NHL affiliation because um, in a way you play well and then you can sign with any NHL team if there's need. Uh, so you're kind of free in that sense. Uh, and then there's no politics coming into play of playing like a prospect or whatever the NHL team wants the players to play in the minors. So yeah, it's up in, up in the air, but obviously it's... Uh, I gotta say it's probably one of the, one of the options as of right now, as every team in North America is one of the options. Have you learned any Swedish being in Luxand? Yeah, I mean, we had to take Swedish in school growing up in Finland, so a lot of it came back my two years in Sweden. And Fox also knows it. Yeah. Are you going to be on KifCast? KifCast! Is this an ad? This might be a sponsored ad. free ad. Uh, yeah, but our good friends Jason and Bonesy, who is Nashville's e-bug. I did pay, to pay a little visit, so I'll be on there probably, I don't even know. It's probably coming out here in a little bit, so make sure to tune for that. I'll, I'll drop a link in the description. Do you want more babies? That's for you. No. No. We're good with one. Fox is more than enough. Oh my gosh, she's like, with him and her, it's more than enough. <laughs> How many games have you played in the NHL? Ooh. You played in Two. the NHL? I played in the NHL, no. believe it or not. Two games. He's lying. Two games. Don't let him lie to you. One in Toronto. Proof or it didn't Nashville. happen. I'll, I'll put some proof in the video. Eddie Bluger, down the left wing, holding and shooting the save made. By Kaskasuo, his first in the NHL. Dream team to play for. For with me, NHL. Dream team to play for in the NHL. Oh. Nashville is the best because all of our besties are there. I wouldn't be opposed to Colorado. Toronto, I'm always game for. I like. You can list all 32 if you want. I like teams that have all the seasons, but I know Nashville really doesn't have. Tips for goalies trying to become a starter. The question itself is tough because you should always battle against yourself in a way and trying to get better, not against anyone else. Um, so the big thing is to focus on yourself and especially like, I feel like tryouts are coming and training camps are coming up. So you always want to make sure you focus on doing what you can do and prepare and whether it's in the gym or on the ice, recovery, nutrition, all that kind of stuff. Like you don't want to, obviously you're going to be in a team with another goalie. So uh, that's part of the game. But also I think just focusing on yourself and maximizing what you can do yourself is the, the biggest thing and doing the right things and you will, you will get rewarded and maybe it might not be right away, but uh, 
at the end of the season it's it's always not about how you start it's how you finish so um my foot fell asleep <laughs> do maximize each day what you can do uh and the results will follow that's gonna do it for the video uh whitney can wrap it up thanks for watching make sure to subscribe no but whitney has a great tiktok channel she's got a lot of like behind the scenes of from our hockey daily stuff so i highly recommend checking my, that out my insight on how to be a gold digger 101 that's gonna wrap it for keeping up with the kuski suos thanks for the q a over on instagram and over here send more questions and maybe we'll answer them in a future video so peace out